murder, part of a spike in violence in the Bulls city. Violent crime up double digit percentage points this year compared to last. WNZN's Michael Highland explains what's behind the problem and what's being done to stop it. A scene that's become too common this year. A deadly shooting on Scout Drive in Durham and police on the hunt for a killer. City police say 34 people already have been killed this year, up from 22 last year. This is something that is really unique to the individuals that are out there, but the only similarity is that violence is the means by which they address whatever issue it is that's wanting them. And it's part of an overall trend. Chief Jose Lopez told city councilors violent crime was up 16% in the first nine months of the year, compared to the same time in 2014. The increase in crime comes as the department also tries to address its relationship with the community. A separate report Monday shows traffic stops are down this year, but there's still a disparity between the number of African Americans and white people pulled over. When crime is up, traffic stops should be up. So I don't celebrate the fact that they're down. We have a lot of things in place to identify and address any bias that may be out there uh, from our officers. We've got work to do. Reverend Mark Anthony Middleton is part of a group of community leaders and members of the law enforcement community going to Boston Tuesday. The Department of Justice is funding the trip aimed at reducing violent crime and improving community relations. The requests and concerns that we've been raising for over, over a year now, almost two years in the city. So I remain optimistic, but I remain vigilant and, and ready to further engage. Later this month, Durham Police will start an initiative aimed at getting more officers on the streets. The department is willing to spend up to $60,000 on overtime during the holiday season to meet minimum staffing standards in each of the city's five districts. In Durham, Michael Hyland, WNCN News.